70 crap to my fellow carpenters out there. Creative Totes series Resin River Cast Kitchen Table. This is the eighth and final episode of this series. In today's video, I'm dealing with the back table part and uh, the final assembling, connecting the table legs. Before jumping to it, I really hope that you are enjoying my work. I'm trying to do my best, believe me. Indeed, if you think I deserve, of course, thumbs up, subscribe and ring the bell for future videos notification. And now, with that being said, let's to build some and uh, let's to have fun with! Ok guys, Creative Toads series Resin River Cast Kitchen Table. This is the final episode of this series and I have to finish the table backside then connect the legs. Then the table will be ready. So I begin today's project with the table back part, removing the so-called dripping effect produced by epoxy silk coats. Before apply final seal coats to the other side of the table, I wrap layers of scotch tape. Epoxy doesn't stick to plastic smooth surfaces. Indeed, this solution is really helping. Removing the so-called dripping effect is much much easier. If uh, you are interested in how I ended up to this point, above my head, web link to this series playlist, where you can watch all the related videos. Now that all the extra epoxy is gone, I proceed cleaning the table to raw timber with a 80 grid sand disc and my orbital sander. So I'm cleaning the table, removing all the extra epoxy and bringing back to raw timber. With the Mohawk quick fill burn sticks, I deal now with some holes left over by the router surface flattening sled and other minor imperfections. The Mohawk sticks are really easy to use. I choose a proper color, then I heat the stick with a lighter, then I drop some drops filling the holes like this. The stick filler dries in a few minutes, then I can remove the extra material with a blade. With a 180 grid I clean the leftover and here I am, problem solved. I'm using Mohawk sticks since a long time and this product really impressed me. It's one of the best hood fillers that I ever used. So if you are interested in this product, below in the description you can find a related link.
almost done. I am mixing 150 grams of epoxy and I go for a couple of seal coats, just enough resin to protect the timber. This is uh, the back table side. I don't go for a perfect crystal clean gloss finish as I did for the main table side. The two epoxy coats that I'm going to apply are there for, pr for protection. This is uh, the back table part, obviously hidden from view, who cares? With uh, a foam brush I deal with uh, the table sides first. I apply a thin coat of epoxy. Be careful about the drippings, other way you are going to end up with the effect that uh, I just removed. With a new brush I go for the whole surface and I apply epoxy only to the timber areas. If you want to uh, spare some money, instead of epoxy you can apply any kind of clear lacquer. Again, these coats are there just for protection. If uh, you decide to go with the lacquer instead of epoxy, be careful. Apply a thin layer of lacquer, avoiding drippings at all cost. If lacquer spills out, drips go to the other main side of the table, they are going to stain epoxy, screwing all your work. With a torch I'm removing uh, hair bubbles forming, then I will give to epoxy 24 hours to cure, then I will repeat the exact same process, sanding and apply another final coat of epoxy. Last step of the process, assembling all together. The table is really heavy, we are talking about 80 kilos about. I don't have a big car, I can't assemble the table and transport it from my laboratory to home. Yes, the table is for, for my kitchen. So I'm here home and I proceed with the, the final assembling. With the engineer squares I make sure that the leg structures is in the table center.
Ok guys, uh, my Resin Rivercast kitchen table is ready. It was a project that took uh, a full month about. However, it was uh, worth it all. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching and uh, see you soon in the next video.